Hello there, I'm Menstrela, and I do a lot of things relating to old impossible levels, whether that be beating formerly impossible levels or getting world records on them. The only thing I don't do is build impossible levels, but that is a topic for another time. For anyone who does know me decently, you'll know I have a decent amount of world records under my belt, whether that be current or former records, such as such as the Invincible, Old Delta Interface, Abater, Sailor Club Star, and Deadly Clubs of V2. The rest of the records I have done still remain today. All these levels I have played present a very unique skill set that you have never seen in regular Extreme Demons. Hence why things like my gameplay style revolve around old impossible levels. At the time, I had a very simple goal, do records that felt special to me, and every single record I have done has had its reason. But with my improved skill, I came up with an idea. Now that Abandoned Corridor is almost verified and it's up to par with the rate standards, I wanted to branch out to improve the game a lot. But the problem is the methods I do know are very samey or not worth it. These include beating extreme demons or beating challenges. The former I really don't want to do because so many extreme demons are awful to play or so boring I fall asleep, unlike Abandoned Corridor, and the latter only works for a short period of time and it usually fixates on one specialized skill set. And also it's boring to say I did challenges. So, my last option would be to do impossible levels, specifically levels from the impossible levels list. For those unaware, the impossible levels list is a list of levels that were, at the time, either the hardest levels people have completed, or are even harder than the current hardest completed level. It's not like the demon list where it lists levels that are currently beaten, but rather what was the hardest levels at the time, or are harder than the current hardest. With research, this makes the ILL have a grand total of over 1200 levels, with more coming soon. Unlike my previous ILL videos where I just show the records I got, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to talk about the process on how I got these records, as well as notes I may have missed when doing these records initially, followed by then showing the recording. So consider this more of a pilot episode to a series. If this pilot episode does well, I will continue with this format. With that said, this video has four records, all of which were held by someone at one point. Our first level is Ryuketsu, a 1.9 demake of Orochi, although the old version of Orochi. The record I got, which is 14%, took me 1440 attempts, which is pretty average for a level this high up on the ILL. However, this level has horrific gameplay, but surprisingly is not the worst gameplay in this list. The main issues I have are the first mini wave and the first ship. Let's start with the ship. While the straight fly is exactly like Abandoned Corridor with its diet fixed hitboxes, one thing which AC did not do is curved mini ship straight fly with no gravity portals. Even the old version of Abandoned Corridor addressed this problem by adding gravity portals even if that gameplay is so awful. But because of how tight the gap is going into the reverse gravity portal and normal size portal is, you often die to the top structure or you die to the slopes trying to make sure you don't have too much vertical velocity. Even if you do pass that awful mini ship part, you can still die if you click on the first orb too early. And because you have to go as early as possible to avoid the top spike, you can literally just never go down into the second gravity portal. And the mini wave. This mini wave loves to act like old Blade of Justice with its tight mini waves, but it does it so wrong. The gameplay on screen should show you why that is the case. I died at this part 83 times before finally getting a record I was satisfied with, which is 14%. You could get 50%, but I wouldn't recommend it because of those two parts. Uh, 14, now I'm satisfied. I am finally cool. satisfied. Alright! That took forever. Oh dear, I have a lot to say for this one. A lot of you may know this, but I am not specialized in the wave. However, that's not the problem for this record of 17% in particular. The real problem is the triple spike jumps in the pre-drop, which have about a 3 to 4 frame window, and there are 4 jumps you have to go through. One at the beginning, and three right before the drop. They do get consistent, but my bigger problem with this level is the optimization. Back in Super Late 2.1, I wanted to get a record of 16% on this, but was unable to because the level lagged on my beast of a PC, which caused a lot of frustration. And I said that I'd come back to this when 2.2 comes out. 
So, after the 64-bit update, I returned to this level and was able to knock it out after a day getting 17%. I originally wanted 18%, but I did not want to deal with the pre-drop any longer since it is genuinely boring. This level also jumps from easy to hard over and over again, which is frustratingly annoying. Like with Ryuketsu, this record could be easily beaten, but I wouldn't recommend it because you'd get bored quickly. One positive thing I will say about this level is it looks pretty solid for a Silent Circles remake. If the creator fixed some of the weird decoration choices and optimized this level, while also upgrading some filler parts, this could be a really good Silent Circles remake. Nice. I don't care if I don't do the spam. I am done with this level. For good. I don't want to touch this anymore. Now this level requires a lot of context as to why I did this, but before I begin, I do want to disclose I use click between frames on this record. That's because this level has two frame perfect jumps that were on par with Element 111 RG, on top of having a unnerved stereo demonist straight fly at 90%. Three of them, actually. Now to give context as to why I got this record, WMAC, the original record holder, immediately took Glow's record out of spite, but then Snowspike took the record for himself, so WMAC returned to take the record, then Snowspike took the record, and then WMAC took the record one last time. However, WMAC cheated as he got 21%, but the route he took was the wrong route, which means his actual record is 20%, as his ship movement did not pass the second unnerved stereo demon as straight fly. This was an attempt to make sure his record could not be taken by Glow or Snow Spike, but it didn't work as not only did the ILL staff consider his record to be 20%, but I actually got 25% surpassing all three Stereo Demonist Stray Fly parts. This record I don't see being beaten for a while, partially because I don't think anyone would want to deal with those three Stray Fly parts, on top of a very tricky ship maneuver I did first try. I died at 90% or higher 11 times before getting 25% because of how easy it is to mess up the ship movement. I'll probably make a video talking about how some of these players act because things like this should not happen, and I have plenty of examples of this happening. Oh, that was a good record. Fantastic record. Well, uh, could be beaten, but it's gonna take a while for it to be beaten. I fluked that super hard, and that's fantastic. Some of you might be confused as to why I'm taking on Nino Circles again. Well, right after I beat Nino Circles, Zest, the original creator, released a version of Nino Circles, which was the actual unnerfed version, which the ILL was supposed to add, but couldn't because this version was lost. That means my 100% completion of Nino Circles is only valid for the nerfed Nino Circles. Now, the unnerfed Nino Circles is a lot harder than the nerfed version, practically because the last 25% has a mirror portal, which means you have to do the final wave sections with the flipped perspective. While I did beat those sections in one run, I just know that I will die there several times because of how hard mirror portals are. In terms of difficulty, I would say the unnerfed Nino Circles is just barely harder than a Thanatos, just because the pre-drop is extremely free and some of the drop segments are also extremely free. I will put the completion of Nino Circles in another one of these videos, but I'm also going to upload the full completion as its separate thing. Though I'll probably beat this right after Abandoned Corridor, just because I would like to get that level finished. Lastly, I got 60% with click between frames when I was supposed to turn it off. So in the completion, you will not see me use click between frames.
Whoops. 